at 11, what city leaders are saying about a scathing audit on the Metropolitan Sewer District. The findings are so troubling, the auditors think criminal charges are needed. Nine on your side's Ashley Zilka is live at City Hall. She has more on this investigation. Ashley. Well, Tanya, for the past three months, an independent investigative team has worked on this audit. Now, their findings are disturbing, and the mayor says the city has inherited an ugly mess. Stem from a very few people and a number of consultants. Nepotism, misuse of ratepayer money, and mismanagement. This 50 page report recommends possible criminal charges for the Metropolitan Sewer District former director, Tony Parrott. In this case, it, it, uh, it went to an, to an extreme. Jim Gatz led the special investigation team. He says there are certain areas that presented the greatest risk for taxpayers, including the MSD's extensive use of consultants and contractors. There were consults, consultants managing city employees and performing those employees' annual reviews. Gat says MSD's Student Intern Academy jumped from 16 high school students to almost 100, costing nearly $1 million every year. In order to fund the program, Parrott, his deputy director and superintendent, started a foundation. Extensive consulting and legal contracts supporting the foundation were paid for with ratepayer funds. The big question now, would taxpayers be paying less if these incidents never happened? City Manager Harry Black couldn't give a dollar amount, but he did say this. So I would have to say that there was probably tremendous opportunity to generate cost avoidance as well as cost savings. Now, as for Parrott, we are told he was interviewed for this report and was fully cooperative. The mayor will now send this report to the Hamilton County Prosecutor and the Ohio Attorney General's Office for further investigation. In the meantime, the current director says he will reduce the number of consultants and contractors by 60% by the end of this month. And as for that intern program, well, it was suspended back in May. Reporting live tonight, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.